In this video, we're overclocking the Intel UHD Graphics 770 integrated in the Intel Core i9-13900K processor all the way up to 2.5 GHz in 5 minutes or less using the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speedrun you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. If you want to learn how to overclock this integrated graphics, please have a look at the longer Scatterventure video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to XMP1. That will load the base information of the XMP profile, including the primary timings, frequency, and voltage, and lets our DDR5 memory run at its high performance specification. The ASUS motherboard will optimize the secondary timings. Set BCLK frequency to 125 MHz. The base clock frequency is the reference clock for many parts inside your CPU, including the P-Cores, E-Cores, Integrated Graphics, Ring, System Agent, Memory Controller, and System Memory. In most overclocking scenarios, you never have to increase the base clock frequency as plenty of multiplier ratios are available to push your cores or memory to the max. However, the Raptor Lake integrated GPU overclocks so incredibly high that the available ratios up to 42x are simply insufficient. So the only way to get the most out of our integrated graphics is by overclocking the BCLK. Increasing the base clock frequency impacts many parts inside the CPU, so we'll need to adjust other settings accordingly to ensure stability. Set ASUS multi-core enhancement to enable to remove all limits. That will unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 power limits and allows for an unlimited time at maximum performance. Set DRAM frequency to DDR5-7750. That ensures that the DDR5 memory runs stable at a near XMP frequency despite increasing the reference base clock frequency from 100 to 125 MHz. Set performance core ratio to by core usage. Now we will configure the CPU P core turbo ratios such that the turbo boost behavior mimics that of a standard Core i9-13900K. We must reduce the CPU core ratios as we have adjusted the base clock frequency from 100 MHz to 125 MHz. For example, the Core i9-13900K can boost up to 5.8 GHz when one P core is active. Typically, the CPU will set a ratio of 58x with 100 MHz BCLK. In our case, with the adjusted BCLK, we will set the 1 core ratio limit to 46. That will result in a 1 P core boost of 1.25 times 46, resulting in 5750 MHz. We set the ratios for each of the active P core configuration accordingly. Set efficient core ratio to sync all cores. Just like how we adjusted the P-Core Turbo Ratio configuration to mimic the standard behavior of the 13900K, we will do the same for the E-Cores. Set Efficient All-Core Ratio to 34. Set Max CPU Cache Ratio to 36. That ensures the ring frequency will not exceed 4.5 GHz. Set Max CPU Graphics Ratio to 40. That increases the graphics frequency. There are two essential things to know about the graphics ratio. First, the graphics frequency is derived from the base clock frequency, but first halved and then multiplied by the graphics ratio. So in our case, the base clock frequency of 125 MHz is first halved to 62.5 MHz and then multiplied by 40, resulting in a frequency of 2500 MHz. Second, the integrated graphics consists of three parts the slice, the unslice, and the display block. The slice holds the execution units, which power your games. The unslice holds most of the fixed function media capabilities and accelerators like QuickSync, and the display block holds the IP responsible for showing you things on the monitor. On Raptor Lake, the slice and unslice frequencies are decoupled, meaning they run at different frequencies. When adjusting the graphics ratio, we only change the slice frequency, not the unslice frequency. That said, the unslice frequency is still affected by adjusting the BCLK. Set a BCLK aware adaptive voltage to enabled. That is a crucial setting ensuring the factory fused voltage frequency curve is used correctly when overclocking the base clock frequency. 
By enabling the setting, we tell the CPU to account for the adjusted base clock frequency, and the CPU will use the appropriate voltage based on the effective frequency instead of the configured ratio. Set CPU graphics voltage to offset mode. That allows us to increase the graphics voltage to support the overclocked frequency. Set CPU graphics voltage offset to 0.315. This will increase the maximum voltage of 1.085 volt for 2100 MHz to about 1.4 volt for 2500 MHz. Then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. The performance increase ranges from plus 19% in EasyBench to plus 61% in Furmark. When running Furmark GPU stress test, the average GPU slice clock is 2500 MHz and the average GPU unslice clock is 1750 MHz with 1.4 volt. The average memory clock is 3875 MHz. The average GPU temperature is 61 degrees Celsius and the average GPU power is 26.177 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support and see you next time.